Day. Out wide on the track, equal play, Dark Havoc began quickly along with Drum Dance and also showing early pace was Kara King. They all followed then further back in the field by Larwood and driving right through on the inside then came at the head of the rest was Topigo. Settling midfield now as they sort themselves out is Bell Visage followed by equal play. Prince Beaver back to second last, Dallas Boy at the rear. They race toward the 600 metres mark and from the outside stall, Drum Dance was able to clear the field by three. Tarwood is up racing second but trapped deep. To P goes second and railing through Pindale as to be fourth. Two lengths away then came Dark Habit. They all followed them by Kara King. Next was Astral Flyer and at the head of the rest then came Bell Visage. Equal play Prince Beaver and Ellis Boy as they will the bend for home. 250 metres left to go. At the top of the straight and the leader is Drum Dance. In second placing Tarwood trying hard. Dark Habit into the clear followed by Pindale Lass. Hands and heels on Drum Dance with 100 left to go. Tarwood is trying hard on the outside. Dark Habit is flashing through on the rails. Dark Dark Habit took the lead, close the line and got up to score. The first favourite home, Dark Habit three quarters on the line. Second home has gone to the pacemaker drum dance. Third on the inside would have been Pindar Lass and they'll follow in then by Bell Visage. Kara King equal play. Next in the field was Tarwood. Well back then would have been Alice Boy, followed in by Astral Flyer, then Prince Beaver and one of the last over the line was Topigo. Number two, Dark Habit, will be first after the opening event. And they're off and racing and beginning quickly out wide was Blackenham. Also North Carolina was showing pace King of Magic and they all flowed then on the inside of runners there by Sovereign Sense High Comet. Flight of Gold tra trailed the field as they go to the 700 metres mark. The odds on favourite on top way Blackenham assumed control by three quarters of a length. North Carolina was racing second. Third on the fence a length away King of Magic. They all followed then further back by High Comet. The rail then was Sovereign Sense and two lengths last of all Flight of Gold as they race down the side of the track in the direction of the 400 metres mark. Held together, Blackenham three quarters clear. North Carolina is second. A length away third. Moving forward now is High Comet. King of Magic losing ground. Sovereign Sense and then came Flight of Gold but around the turn, 250 left to go. Out in the centre of the track, Blackenham is clear. Trying hard on the inside, North Carolina. They're clear of High Comet. Flight of Gold down the outside. Blackenham in front. North Carolina is trying hard on the inside. The top weight of favourites pulling out plenty. Blackenham diving through North Carolina. They reach the line and this is tight very close between on the outside Blackenham North Carolina the rail third end on the inside may have been High Comet followed in by Flight of Gold they all flow further back in the field Sovereign Sense and King of Magic was last judge will probably go for a photo here very close Blackenham on the outside North Carolina has dived through on the inside to make it very very interesting Blackenham was holding North Carolina at bay until the last 50 metres or so when it's worked home very solidly on the inside North Carolina. They're ready. It's the light, set. Gates back, they're off this time. And going up with the stalls and missing it badly was original touch. Mr Comfortable wasn't well served at the start. Petite Goddess began well with Quiet Sabre and also Shamrock Cheer was showing pace. Next was War Legend followed by Our Market as they lead the straight. Mr Comfortable further back in the field then was Ring of Peace and on the inside now is Original Touch. They go inside the 1200 metres mark down the side and the lead of the Quiet Sabre by about three lengths. Shamrock Cheer to second, a length away third was Our Market. They all followed then by War Legend which has trapped out one horse off the fence as Original Touch pushes it wider. Next in the field then came out very deep on the track, moving forward is Petite Goddess. Three lengths away then, Ring of Peace, Mr Comfortable commencing a run. About eight lengths off the lead as they go to the 700 metres mark. Quiet Sabre making every post to win it by a length and a half. Working to second now is Original Touch, a length away third, Shamrock Cheer under the whip. A half away fourth on the outside was Wall Ledger moving forward. Our marker was next from Petite Goddess, who's still having no luck. Mr Comfortable commencing a run and getting up on the inside was Ring of Peace as they bunch up racing down the side. 400 left to go. The leader is Quiet Sabre. He snuck away at that point by three lengths. Original Touch is second. They'll follow them by Shamrock Cheer. Our market along with War Legend to the outside, but around the turn they said, catch me if you can on Quiet Sabre. He kicked about six in front. In second placing down the outside was War Legend along with Our Market. Then came Original Touch, Shamrock Cheer, but this is an easy procession race for Quiet Sabre. Quiet Sabre's gone from the barrier to post, leading throughout, won it by eight lengths. 
Second home is won by his round two, our market, third in the race, Shamrock Cheer. They were followed in by Original Touch and then Mr Comfortable. Ring of Peace, well back was War Legend and tailed off last after having no luck in the run, Petite Goddess. He appeared to be in a race of his own, number one, Quiet Saber, G Brady. Number one, Quiet Sabre, G. Brady first. It's moderately away. First to bounce out was Gem Tree, showing some pace Tavish out wider. They were followed by Magnum Star, and the favourite pride of Dallas, allowed to settle, is uh, dropped out to the rear of the field. They come down the straight just over a circuit left to travel, and Tavish assumes control out in front by a length and a half, Sir Rayner. Two away, third K, Magnum Star. They were followed then by Gem Trees. He's the only horse off the fence, and pride of Dallas sneaking through on the inside. They leave the 1200 metres peg behind them and head down the side. The leader is Tavish by three quarters. Magnum Star is allowed to stride up to be three quarters of a length away. A half away, third on the inside, Sir Rayner his second start this afternoon for more than four years. They all followed them by Gem Trees commencing a run and a length away given time to settle his pride of Dallas as they race along the back of the track. They've gone inside the final 800 metres and the leader on the inside, Tavish, three quarters. In second placing is Magnum Star, three away third running on his Gem Trees. They all followed by Pride of Dallas and Sir Rayner tailed out to be last. They approach the circle with about 600 metres left to go. On the outside, Magnum Star's now laying down the gauntlet to Tavish and he went past him, Magnum Star. A length and a half away, third Gem Tree still running on. The favourite pride of Dallas was fourth on the inside. He's only three lengths off the lead. And a long gap in the field, Sir Rayner. 300 left to go. And the leader is Magnum Star on the home turn. He drew a length clear. Gem Trees is trying hard in second place in Tavish. Then came pride of Dallas, but around the turn, down to the 200. He's pulling out plenty on Magnum Star. In second place in Gem Trees. Tavish raising another effort, and pride of Dallas is working home. Magnum Star in front. Gem Trees is trying hard. Tavish coming again, Pride of Dallas, big finish coming up, Magnum Star in front, Magnum Star's got the money, Magnum Star by over a length that's desperately tight between three for second and third, Pride of Dallas in the centre, Gem Trees the outside and Tavish back down on the rail and tailed off last was Sir Rayner. Now the last of the runners have been dropped off at their and the first to bounce out was in the yellow, the Willamai Beach Surf Life Saving Club, but railing right through on the inside with the aid of that inside start was the Phillip Island Football Club. The Phillip Island Football Club will lead them into the first turn. By, got away by about six or eight metres now. Willamai Beach Surf Life Saving Club is second. Third was the Shire of Phillip Island Caravan Park. And unable to go a yard in the early stages was the Peninsula Sweat Hogs Gridiron Football Club. They've changed over at the first bat and change, so they've gone inside the final 1,000 metres mark. And the leader, Phillip Island Football Club, got right away at that point at that first change. The Phillip Island Football Club strode away by 12 metres. In second placing is the Willamai Beach Surf Life Saving Club. About 15 metres away third, then the Shire of Phillip Island Caravan Park and about all oh, 50 metres away at the rear of the field, the Peninsula Sweat Hogs, as they come to the second change, and this is at the 800 metres mark. Quickly making grounds to the Willamai Beach Surf uh, Life Saving Club, but it's still Phillip Island Football Club. He's only a metre in front. Challenging now on the outside is the Willamai Beach Surf Life Saving Club, and they've gone to the lead. Willamai goes to the lead by about three or four metres. Phillip Island Football Club is second. They're still about 20, 25 metres on the rest of the field. Shire of Phillip Island is third. And still last of all, as they come to the next changes, Peninsula Sweat Hogs. They've gone inside the 600 metres mark and now breaking away was Willamai. Willamai Beach Surf Life Saving Club by six or eight metres. Phillip Island Football Club is second. 25 metres away third, Shire of Phillip Island Caravan Park. And still tailed off hopelessly is Peninsula Sweat Hogs Gridiron. As they come to the 400 metres mark, this is the second last change in the Batten event this afternoon, sponsored by San Remo. At the 400, Willamai the first first to change. Phillip Island is second, but Willamai has dashed away as they come to the home turn. They've got about 300 metres left to go. It's Willamai Beach Surf Life Saving Club, 15 metres in front. Phillip Island is racing second, steadily making ground Shire of Phillip Island Caravan Park. They come to the home turn and uh, really still a race in three. This Willamai will straighten up only five or six metres in front. Phillip Island is steadily making ground. Third is Shire of Phillip Island coming to the last change. And the leader of Willamai Beach Surf Life Saving Club, first to change but Phillip Island's come again 
and Shire of Phillip Island's coming home with a wet sail at the 100 metres mark and Phillip Island Football Club's in front. Woolamai coming again, Shire of Phillip Island looms up to make a line of three. Woolamai took the lead, Shire of Phillip Island, Phillip Island Football Club coming again. Woolamai beats Surf Life Saving Club in front with 20 metres left to go. They've got it won. Woolamai beats Surf Life Saving Club, won the relay challenge by five metres. Shire of Phillip Island Caravan Park made up many metres to wind up in second place in Phillip Island Football Club third. And Peninsula Sweathogs Gridiron Football Club, well, they've completed the course. A little girl by the name of Jessica, aged 16 months, has been lost in the crowd. She's wearing a pink outfit, has blonde hair. If you find young Jessica, 16 months, could you please take her to her mum, who's at uh, the secretary's office. Jessica, in pink, blonde hair, 16 months. If you find her, please go to the secretary's office. Starter has the button. There's the light. Racing. Red Oak missed the start, came out sideways. Duchess Renee was first to bounce out. Showing early pays was Kuralinga. Palace Idol, Misty Ghost, our fight, a better sport. They were followed by Palace Vista, uh, further back in the field to Pala Vista. Then came at the head of the rest as they sort themselves out was Border Lane. Further back was Shamtis and tailing out to be last is Lana. They leave the straight. Misty Ghost crosses and clears the field by over a length. In second place in better sport. A length away third on the inside. Then came Kuralinga. They'll follow them by Red Oak. Two lengths away to Palace Idol, the first horse off the fence. Duchess Renee was railing through. They'll follow them by Pala Vista. Next in the field then came Shamtis. Borderline second to last and three away last of all was Lana as they head into the back. In the direction of the thousand metre mark and the leader on the inside is Misty Ghost. Misty goes the pilot now challenged by better sport the outside there are two or three lengths in advance of the rest of the field headed by Kuralinga Red Oak to the outside two lengths away came Palace Idol they'll follow them by Pala Vista and then came Shamtis on its outside was Border Lane followed by Duchess Renee and commencing a run was Lana at the rear about a dozen lengths off the field taking over in front better sport sprinted away as they came down the side found two lengths on Red Oak a half away third Misty Ghost third they'll follow by Shamtis and then came further back in the field on the inside to Kuralinga around the outside Lana still sustaining a run and then came Pala Vista around the turn 2.50 left to go whips are cracking on the inside the leader is better sport Red Oak on the outside is trying hard they're clear of Shamtis working home from Lana on the inside better sport pulling out plenty Shamtis on the outside is trying hard better sport in front Shamtis overhauling it close to the line they reach it oh very tight again maybe on the outside Shamtis a nose over better sport Third between Lana and Red Oak, followed in them by Kuralinga. Then came further back to Palace Idol, Border Lane, Misty Ghost. Pala Vista well last and Duchess Rene, Renee was at the rear. Two racing. Gold's armour began as well as anything. Just Arcali took hold of it shortly after the start. 
Tom Osar was showing some pace from Alberno as they come to the judge. One circuit left to go. Splitting them, Alberno takes the roll as pacemaker out of the straight by two. Goldzama was racing second, third, then came further back to Tom Osa. Then on the inside was just Arcal as they raced down the side of the track in the direction of the 1,000 metres mark. Alberno allowed his head, strode away by three lengths. The top weight and favourite, Goldzama second. Three away third, then came just Arcale. And moving forward, one horse off the fence is Domalsar as they race along the back of the track. They've got just over 800 metres left to travel. And the leader is Alberno, making every post a winner. It's a one-horse affair out in front. By five lengths, Goldzama is racing second, tracking down this leader. Four away third, then came Tomilsar. And last of all was just Arcale as they come to the back turn. The leader as they race toward the 500 metres mark is Alberno. His lead has been reduced to two lengths. In second place in Goldzama. The top weight and favourite now only a length away. Four away then came Tomilsar and last of all was just Arcale. 300 left to go in the last. And the leader on the inside still is Alberno. He's got a lump 72 and a half on the outside on Goldzama but he's looming up. At the 200 metres mark, Alberno in front. Gold's armor on the outside is slowly but surely wearing him down. He took the lead, Gold's armor. Gold's armor raced away from Alberno. He's drawing clear, hands and heels to the line. The top weight and favorite greets the judge, a punter's favorite. Gold's armor a length on the line. Second home has gone to Alberno. Third in the race would have been Tomlesar and Justar Kale. The steeplechaser at the rear.